Welcome back. We have another tool review for you. I'm going to be comparing the Veritas shooting plane to the Lee Nielsen shooting plane. These are probably two of the best known brands, so we are going to break them down, review the specs, sharpen them up, put them to the test. Stick with me. Here they are side by side. We are going to review the specs. And before I do that, I want to say, I know this is pronounced Lee. I get it. Trust me, I heard it enough in the other videos. The comments are, it's Lee, it's Lee. I, I get it. I know. I'm sorry if I say lie and offend you. It's, it's a habit and old habits die hard. So I don't need to hear it in the comments if I say it wrong. <laughs> now that that's out of the way, the specs. So... Lee Nielsen is just over nine pounds. The Veritas is seven and three quarters. So Lee Nielsen definitely heavier. As a shooting plane, my opinion is that heft is going to help you. We're going to see here. Lengthwise, they are almost the same. The Lee Nielsen is 15 inches long and the Veritas is 15 and three quarters long. Now, if you go to their website, they say that this is width. For both of them, they say this is width, but to me, that's the height, because while you're using it, that's tall, this is width. So whatever, I'm saying tall. So, Lee Nielsen, three and nine sixteenths tall. Veritas, at its widest, is three and three eighths tall. Width-wise, they are both the same. They are both two and one eighths wide. Now, when it comes to the irons, so the Lee Nielsen iron, is two and three eighths wide and the Veritas is two and a quarter wide. Thickness wise, they're pretty close. The Veritas is a little bit thicker. So the Lee Nielsen is nine sixty fourths or 2.55 millimeters, excuse me, 3.55 millimeters. The Veritas is three sixteenths or 4.83 millimeters. Now they both have a skew. So the mouth there, you can see that that's skewed. On the Lee Nielsen, you can also see that the mouth is skewed. They both have that skew at 20 degrees. Now, the biggest thing you're going to notice, and this is probably, other than appearance, probably going to be the biggest difference between these two. I'm just guessing because I haven't tried them both side by side yet. But the bed angles are very different. So the Lee Nielsen has a standard bench plane bed angle of 20 degrees, where the Veritas has the low angle bed angle of 12 degrees. Now, traditionally, when you look at planing end grain, low angle, the 12 degree bed angle with a 25 degree iron is tested to be the best. But a lot of guys that I've been talking to are saying it doesn't matter with the, with the Lee Nielsen because it's just a boss. It plows through end grain with no issues. So I'm really interested to try that out because I think that's going to be the biggest difference, difference between these two. Um, a couple of the extra features and specs that come with these planes. So the the Lee Nielsen, it doesn't really have like a ton of different specs. It's basically a bedrock plane at a 90 degree angle, just set differently. The Veritas comes with some bells and whistles that I find pretty interesting. So they do have the adjustable mouth. Now, some will argue me and say that the Lee Nielsen does also. It does, but it's moving the frog like a standard bench plane. So the mouth isn't adjustable. The frog's adjustable, which adjusts the mouth, whatever. Okay, so that's one of the perks of this. The other thing that happens when you adjust the mouth on the Veritas is it has this screw right here. And what this screw does is it prevents you from slamming that mouth into the iron. Or excuse me. Yeah, slamming the mouth into the iron. For the Lee Nielsen, if you're adjusting the frog, there's nothing to prevent that. So you just kind of got to be a little bit careful when you're setting it up. So, for example, that's right there. That screw stops it. You can also use that screw to micro-adjust the mouth. See it opening as I tighten that screw down? So that's one cool feature of this. The other feature is the Veritas has set screws. So there's a set screw here, set screw here, set screw here. You can see them on up here. And then on the underside there is the set screws. So... Some guys use these set screws to micro adjust the blade if the lateral's out because sometimes the Norris style is difficult to adjust once you've got everything locked. So they use these set screws to adjust that lateral. 
They're supposed to be used to hold the iron in place, not hold it in place, to be able to reset it. So when you take this iron out to sharpen it and you put it back, those set screws are supposed to make sure it's it's going back in exactly where you want it to be. I've had this plane before and I really haven't found that to be the case, but I love the idea of using these screws to micro adjust because I never thought about that. Another perk that comes with the Veritas is this handle is adjustable. So if you don't like this angle, you can take that tote and adjust it. The Lee Nielsen, that one's set in place. You don't get to adjust that one. Um, a note on the irons. So this one for the Lee Nielsen is A2. The Veritas is PMV11. Now, you can buy this plane with PMV11 or O1. They don't sell them in A2 anymore, but I think you can still get A2 irons to put in here. I just don't have one. So just keep that in mind while I'm going through this review that this one is A2 and this one's PMV11. And there's all kinds of arguments over that too that I'm not going to get into. Um, the other mention is the Lee Nielsen is the bedrock style. So if you have a Stanley bedrock plane or a, a Lee Nielsen plane, this is the same setup where the Veritas is the Norris style. So it has the twist cap and the lateral and the depth are all in this same knob where Lee Nielsen, it is a snap cap. The lateral adjuster is back here and the depth is down here. Now, last but not least, the price of both of these is pretty drastically different. Um, you can get both of them in either the left-handed or the right-handed orientation. I'm right-handed, so these are both right-handed. But price-wise, the Lee Nielsen is $650 plus tax and shipping. The Lee Nielsen shipping is pretty pricey, so that's something to keep in mind. For the Veritas, it is for PMV11. It is $385 plus tax because if you spend over $100 on the Lee Valley website, you get free shipping. So the Veritas is significantly cheaper. I'd probably say the Lee Nielsen is double the price of the Veritas once you add in the tax and, and their shipping there. So that's something to keep in mind. If you wanted to get the Veritas with the O1, it's $366 plus tax. So let me take these apart and we will show you the different components side by side. So the other big difference, again, like I mentioned, is going to be the Norris style and the Bedrock style. So here's the two different caps. I had both of them tightened down too far. There's two different caps, one snap cap, one's twist cap. Um, I've actually heard a lot of the Lee Nielsen guys, they don't like the snap cap. And they've actually been swapping them out and getting twist caps, so... I don't know, though. I don't really have a preference there because I don't use it that often. Here is the iron size. So because the Lee Nielsen is the Bedrock style, you do get a chip breaker with it. Um, but, they're, but they're heavy. They're beefy iron. So there they are, if you can tell the thickness side by side. There is a lot more life in the Lee Nielsen than there is in the Veritas. But... The Veritas BMP being PMV11, you shouldn't have to sharpen it as much. So, eh, you guys can have that argument if you want. This is what both of the, well, this is the bed. Because this one is low angle, it doesn't have a frog. It just goes directly onto the bed of the plane. Here's the Norris style adjuster in here with the depth and the lateral. Let me take the frog off of this one and I'll show you guys that bed. All right, and there is the bed of the Lee Nielsen. It does have this screw that helps you to adjust the mouth size. So they do look really similar. The biggest difference is just to review with you guys is the weight. Lee Nielsen is heavier. Um, the Norris style versus the Bedrock style. This one is low angle, this one is standard angle, and then the price. This one is $650 plus tax and ship. This one is $385 plus tax. So let's get the irons sharpened up. They should be at 25 degrees. It is recommended that you do a 30 degree micro bevel on them. So I am going to use the jig and sharpen them up so I make sure that they are both identical while I do this test. So I got them both sharpened up and assembled, ready to go. But I wanted to take a second and talk to you about this shooting board. So if you follow my channel, you'd see that I made this shooting board. Um, 
If you don't follow my channel, shame on you. <laughs> but I made the shooting board, and when I made it, I made an error. So if you look here, you can see that the mouth is higher. So what I should have done was put the plane in the track and then measured up to the mouth. I didn't do that. So what I did is I looked at the directions, and the directions said that this top piece needed to be a minimum of half an inch, but that's for that track. That's not for the plane. I didn't want to change this yet because I wanted to see if the Veritas was okay with this height. So let me show you guys that. So there's the Veritas, and we're still going to run into the same issue. If you can see that little gap at the very bottom, or I'm going to try to catch it in camera, the little gap at the bottom down there, still not going to work. So what I need to do is attach a thin piece of something to the top of this. I mean, I could hold a little piece on top of the piece that I'm trying to cut, but it's just going to be easier to glue a piece onto here. So there we go. What I did is I just took a very thin piece. I think this is like that Luon plywood. And just put it onto the top, not up against the track, but just onto the top. And then I didn't want to wait for the glue to dry, so I just used some little brass nails because nails are fun and I don't really care about what shop furniture looks like. Um, I added more screws onto the fence. Again, I don't care what shop furniture looks like. The fence was a little wiggly with just, I had these ones and these ones. So I went in and added one in the middle of each. So we are ready. Okay, so these shooting planes are the same width, so I should be able to set this up and have it stay and use both planes. So we're going to try that out too because they are both two and an eighth wide. So when you are setting these up, um, this is the Veritas shooting board track. I love the track. It's very handy, very helpful. Um, the fence is just a little pricey. <laughs> And I would really only use two settings. I would use 90 and then 45 degrees. And then I heard about a guy. What he does is he sets the speed square here. And he just uses that for the 45 degree angle. So I'm definitely going to keep that in mind. So let me get the set. How about cherry? How about a scrap piece of cherry? All right, let's go to the Veritas.
So this one, this one was tough for me, and I can't even tell you how many takes I've done of trying to record this outro because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the Lee Nielsen. So let me tell you what my experience was. So I would get really good clean shavings, and then it would start skipping. And you could see it was only planting certain pot spots of this, and it was like digging in, and it was giving me these like little tiny curly cues. But then it would go back to giving me real shavings, and then it would go back to curly cues, and I, I don't know. I don't think that's the iron sharpness because it was getting really good shavings. And then I'd be like, all right, we're set. You know, let's do this. And boom, it would go back to skipping. And then it would go back to nice shavings. And then boom, it would go back to skipping. So me, it's making me want to lean towards backlash. Um, all of my user planes, they're all Lee Nielsen. So I know how to fiddle with things and get them correct. Um, I made sure the depth screw was in the advanced position. I made sure the frog screw for the mouth was in the advanced position. I made sure the frog screws were tightened down. Uh, I made sure that the cap iron was, was, the cap screw was tight. I don't really know what else to try. Um, if it's not backlash, I tried to adjust for that too. I tried to open the mouth size, close the mouth size, move the chip breaker closer, move the chip breaker back, loosen the cap screw, tighten this cap screw. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And um, Lee, Lee Nielsen does make really high quality tools. So what I want you guys to do, if you have the Lee Nielsen shooting plane and you watch this video, the whole thing, and you can say, he's doing this wrong. Please put that in the comments. I want to know. Um, again, I'm the kind of woodworker that I'm going to show you guys everything, even if I make mistakes. If this is user error, I want to know. I don't care that it's public or whatever. Um, people need to know these things, too, because they do make top-of-the-line planes. That's why all of my users are Lee Nielsen. I picked them over Veritas because I liked them better. So if you have this plane and you've got it working perfectly, let me know. People are going to want to know the results, and I don't really have them for them. So... Lee Nielsen users, let me know what's going on. For the Veritas plane, it was just simpler to use. There is no frog. There is no chip breaker. The mouth adjustment is an easy turn screw. The cap's an easy screw. The only issue I had with it was the tote came loose. I got both of these used, so I'm thinking whoever had the Veritas before had it sitting on a rib and not, like, seated. So after I used it, it came loose. Once I tightened it down, I actually liked the angle that it was at better than, than the straight up and down that I had it before. So, Veritas, less parts to fiddle. I guess this can be your answer. I guess this can be the answer. Veritas has a lot less parts to fiddle with. I really liked the angle of it. So maybe this is coming down to a bed angle difference, and that's just how it works with, with Lee Nielsen. It's, it is what it is because it's at that bed angle. But Veritas, easier to set up, cheaper. Lee Nielsen looks like Stanley. That's all I got. That's all I got. Again, if you have Lee Nielsen, you know what I'm doing wrong, or you like the plane, leave it in the comments below. Um, if you guys give me good feedback, because there's already a couple things I mentioned. If you're going to mention the things that I already mentioned, I'm just going to ignore you. Um, maybe I'll try sharpening the iron again and trying it that way, but, I mean, it was, it was fresh off the strop. It was skipping like that, and then it would get good shavings, and then it would skip again, and then it would get good shavings, so... I really don't know. I was really hoping I could have kept the I could keep the Lee Nielsen because I'm selling the loser. Uh, the Lee Nielsen only cost me forty bucks, so I was really hoping to keep it. But if you guys don't have an answer for me, or the answer is that's just how the plane is, then I'm obviously going to keep the Veritas and the Lee Nielsen will be up for grabs on the Can I Have It Facebook group for somebody else to try to figure out how to make it work. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Have a good day or night. I don't care. Wherever you are. Bye.